Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean, I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. He's not a, he's, he's a We're simp. only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you mean to your son. To Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where? Is my son. He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been real. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. What? So a lot more time has passed. Oh, come on. That's crazy. I assure you, I am completely sane and entirely honest. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Does he actually look like me? I think he does. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. 